Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to play retro games on your Raspberry Pi 4. Let's see what we're gonna need. Raspberry Pi 4, a micro SD card with an adapter for your PC or a USB card reader, a USB pen drive and a gamepad. Let's allow Raspberry Pi Major from the official website on your computer. Raspberry Pi Major is the easiest way to install RetroPi on our Pi 4. Choose the right version for your OS. Now, let's insert the SD card on your computer and format it, choosing FAT32 as file system. Let's run Raspberry Pi Major. From the operating system scrolling menu, let's select Emulation in Game OS, then RetroPi and RetroPi 4.8 RPI4. Now it's time to select the storage, so let's click on the SD card we have inserted in our PC. Now let's click on Write. It takes some time, so for this tutorial I speed up the video just a bit. At the end of the writing process our SD card is ready for making its magic tricks. Let's insert the SD card in our Raspberry Pi. You can also connect your gamepad to a USB port and turn on your Rasp. You can follow the little thumbnails to configure the buttons of your gamepad. If you need more information or a specific configuration, you can visit the official RetroPi website retropi.org.uk. Here you can find the list of the main controllers and their configurations. We are very close to the end of our process. As we need to load some games ROMs on our Pi, we need a USB pen drive to do that. Let's insert our USB pen drive in our PC and format it as FAT32. Now that the pen drive is clean and empty, let's create a RetroPi folder and disconnect it from our PC. Let's connect the pen drive to the Raspberry Pi and wait for some seconds. The Pi will write the file system on the pen drive. Just wait it for a minute, it won't take long. Disconnect the pen drive from the Raspberry and connect it to your computer. Clicking on the RetroPi folder, you could see three folders. Open the ROM folder and you will see a list of devices. We will need to copy the game's ROMs in the right folder. Remember that there could be legal issues if you download and run games without any licenses. After copying some games in the right folder, I can insert the SD card in the Raspberry Pi. Now I have a new menu item called MAME. Clicking on it, you can see the games I can play. And that's it! I hope this tutorial would be useful. See you next time!